Hey everybody, this is Vince Omega, and in this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how the Goblin Shooter Monster Form works. In case you're wondering, um, Dungeon Fighter Online is going through a temporary event where they actually allow you to transform into different monsters. You get up to, I believe, five forms that you can choose from. In the first form that you have, that you can unlock in the game is this overpowered version of uh, a goblin called Goblin Shooter. Now, the Goblin Shooter has, I believe, five different types of attacks. On the A key, you see a single arrow. Um, that is the attack that, well, it's like a beat up version of the standard X attack. The X attack is where you shoot arrows. If you um, hit the A key, instead of moving and shooting, actually it doesn't move and shoot when it does that anyway, but um, what he would do, he would stand still and he would shoot his arrows in a rapid fire succession. On the S key, um, you may notice there are multiple arrows. That's because with that particular skill, when you use that skill, he shoots arrows in a shotgun type of pattern. So basically, he shoots arrows in a spread. Um, if you do it up close, of course, it'll hit a single target multiple times and do a lot of damage. You're better off saving it for a group. Uh, if you want to hit somebody with a strong attack up close, you're better off using the next skill. On key D, you may notice an enlarged sort of like wall men shot type of icon thing. He doesn't use men shot. Um, instead, what he does is he charges up his arrow and he lets go. So it's more like a beefed up version of the single shot, only this shot so it goes through multiple targets. Um, of course, it's devastating to a single target up close, but it's even better with group. So again, this is more of a, um, a group skill, but you can use it against a single target, and probably better to use it against a single target than this skill that's on the S key, of course. Lastly, on the F key, you may notice arrows pointing downward, and what Goblin Shooter does when you use that particular skill is he points his bow up into the air, and he shoots, uh, basically he shoots fire pillars. Um, towards the ground. Now, if a single target was hit by one of the pillars, it does a lot of damage. If they hit by all the pillars, it could potentially kill them uh, within a single shot. So it's pretty devastating. And also, on the far right hand side, you may also notice an icon with a foot and an arrow beneath the foot. But that basically is a passive. It allows Goblin Shooter to jump into the air really high, and while he's in the air, he's actually allowed to. He's actually a he can actually shoot arrows downwards as if he was a gunner. So you basically get the aerial shoot while jumping really high. So that's another aspect of Goblin Shooter. 